Good. Works perfectly. You see? What did I say? We're all impressed. Why have we stopped? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. <sighs> Not him again! This one doesn't give up! This is our chance, guys. Get him? Got to hand it to you. You beat me without even releasing the true power of the Monado. True power? What do you know about the Monado? Sorry, boy. I can't tell you that. You'll have to find out the truth on your own. The truth? When I became what you see now, that's when my eyes were opened. It was a good ride while it lasted. When you became like this? What do you mean? Time's up, Pipsqueak. I'm gone! Sword! Get back!
We smashed that bronze idiot. Now the people of Colony 6 can rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, uh, Are you okay? Sharla. I thank the stars you're all right. Where are we? Just outside Colony 6. Thanks to Shulk and Ryan, we destroyed that thing. But not everyone made it. Oh? I'm so sorry. Shulk? Ryan? I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. Forget about it, kid. We settled the score. Thanks. Yes. But there's still no sign of that Mechon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh. It's him. Metal face. Ah. Not just him. A whole bunch. And tons of them look like Zord. Pathetic. After all that talk, Zord was crushed by worthless maggots like you. Oh, this one can talk and all. I can talk all right. And I got a good memory. Fiora, get out of there. Get out. <laughs> Screams were music to my ears. My claws slid right through her soft flesh. Like a hot knife through butter! <laughs> Talk all you want. Because those words will be your last! The Monado! Yeah, it's been a while. But you should know by now. The Monado can't stop me! Shulk! Shulk! I'm gonna... Anyway you slice it, the Monado ain't gonna work, boy. Didn't work then, won't work now. Now, time to cut you down to size. Hey, what? That's... Now, let them have it, beast. Uh... Like we were just in time. Bring it on! Come on! Do your flash! Ah. 
There's no end to them. Where are they coming from? I can take the smaller ones, but the rest will be like fighting Zord over and over. If only the Monado would work on these things. Focus, Silk! Look out! Ryan! <laughs> Look at you all! Look at this, metal brain! That it, Grandpa! <sighs> Running out of ideas here. You may be able to block a projectile, but let's see if you can block this! <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel to be such a pathetic hero? <laughs> you okay, Dunvan? Oh, does it hurt? I bet it does. It hurts because the Monado won't work for a bunch of losers like you! <laughs> What are you? Save it. I ain't interested. You little maggots need to learn when you've been stepped on. That light. Everyone, fall back! Now! Won't change a thing. I'm gonna wipe you out once and for all. <laughs> what the? A telepia! Chance. Oh, you'll pay for that. How are you? We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora. Another one. Enough of this. You got lucky, brat. Next time, your head is mine. You're not getting away! Get back here! Shoot! Ryan, let it go! You've got to be kidding! He's the one who killed Fiora! Know your limits. We'll get another chance. Fine. That thing saved us. Whatever it was. You did well. But what of the boy? Ah. Uh. Well then, there is much to be done. I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon? Dunban? You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? Dunban, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. He's right. Save your thanks for that giant bird. What was that thing? A telethia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where us Homs live. Strange. A telethia? So that's what it's called. A mystical beast that protects the Bionis. 
So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal-faced machine, I presume? What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley, the very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. Easy, Ryan. Chalk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. Well, what could be more important than... Wait, you saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up. I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower. Fighting Metal Face. I heard a voice. And then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember... a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been. But I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real? I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis? It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well-traveled. <laughs> And it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands, met new cultures, and gained knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, Dumban? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies, find a place the Mekon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt? No way! We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mechon and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dunban. Miserly old coot. That sword is forged from mech on armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right. But we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg, so we'll have to head around the waste. Through a place called Sartal Marsh. Follow me.